welcome back to Talking Serpents. I am so excited to make this video. Can't even contain myself. How excited I am. So I'm sure you already know what this video might be about at this point, but as of right now, I will tell you this is absolutely groundbreaking for Talking Serpents reptile enclosures and even the reptile hobby in general. So I'm so excited to share this. We've definitely worked very hard. Ready? I know I am. So we'll start on the left. This is a four foot wide, two foot deep, and two foot tall reptile enclosure. And on the right, you have another four foot wide, two foot deep, two foot tall reptile enclosure. But they are now one piece. Inside here, we have them joined together with an adapter kit that we have now made. That means any reptile enclosure on our website, TalkingSerpents.com, that is two feet deep and two feet tall can be adapted together. It does not have to be a four by two by two. It could be a five by two by two, a six by two by two, a seven by two by two. Also, you can make this as long as you want. You can put adapters on each side. You can go 50 feet long, and I'm not exaggerating. If that's what you wanna do, we can make that happen. Not only did we make sure that the adapter kit looks good, but it is also very strong. I thought being strong was the most important aspect of the adapter kit. So get up there, Stephanie. Give us a little demonstration. Completely in the middle, which is exactly where it would be the weakest. But we have a rib that goes across for strength and it's clearly doing its job perfectly. So I'm very happy to announce it is very strong. So you can stack stuff on top of it as tall as you want. No worries. There are several different reasons why the adapter kit is such a game changer. Let's just say you're gonna buy a baby reptile and guess what, that baby reptile is going to grow as we all know it. And let's say as a baby it's in a four by two by two reptile enclosure and as an adult, let's just say it's gonna be in an eight by two by two. Well, instead of buying an eight by two by two whole enclosure later on, you just buy 50% more of what you already need with an expansion kit. So that saves you a lot of money down the road. Not only does this adapter kit save you money on reptile enclosures, but it also saves you money on shipping. What I mean is if you had a four by two by two reptile enclosure, that costs about $50 to ship. So, if you have two 4x2x2 by two by two reptile enclosures to ship, that would be $100. But if you were going to ship one, one single 8x2x2 by two by two reptile enclosure, it would cost over $200. So that saves you 50%, over 50% more on shipping costs. Thought it would be very important to mention that Talking Serpents has the legal rights to these adapter kits and there are no other companies that build reptile enclosures that have adapter kits. So let's take a little trip in my personal reptile room. Figure it's best to be in here because we're gonna talk about larger reptiles. So I get lots of emails from people with large reptiles and they need large reptile enclosures for those large reptiles. Makes perfect sense, right? But the thing is, I give them price quotes on the enclosure and shipping, and the shipping is so ridiculously priced, I totally understand why most people back out. So that's where this adapter kit comes into play. You are finally able to ship much larger enclosures and adapt them together because it's not one whole large piece being shipped. So I'm saving people loads of money on, in this case, People are wanting uh, like a slipknot size reptile enclosure, which is eight feet wide, 30 inches deep, 30 inches tall, and that would be uh, at maximum $1,200 to ship to, say, New York. So very expensive. So that makes me very happy to be able to help these people out as well as help the reptile out. A lot of these reptiles specifically the larger reptiles, they need big reptile enclosures. Now, now I'm making an affordable option. Another important detail of this adapter kit, let's just say you do have two reptile enclosures bound together by this adapter kit 
and it's eight feet wide, two feet deep, two feet tall, and you wanted to make them back into two separate reptile enclosures, two separate four by two by two enclosures, this adapter kit does not damage either enclosure in any way. It will come with hardware, instructions of course, and it will be using the pre-existing holes on the reptile enclosure itself to screw into the adapter. So of course, you'd be saving your side panels for a later date if you so desire to ever make them two pieces again. With that being said, we're gonna go ahead and take this reptile enclosure apart and make it two separate pieces again, and then we'll go ahead and show you how easy it is to install this adapter kit. All right, ready in three, two, one. Now they are two separate reptile enclosures again. So now it's time to show you how easy it is to install our adapter kit. So we're gonna start by taking off this panel and this panel on these reptile enclosures. So we're gonna be taking off the screws on the outer edges, but we will be leaving the screws on the corner. So one, two, three, and four. And all the other screws will come off. So let's go ahead and do that. And montage start now. Now we'll be taking off the opposite side panel that we'll be adapting to. Now that both the side panels have been uninstalled, now is a perfect opportunity to show you why our adapter kits are built to be strong. So let's say you wanted to uh, put a little pressure. You can see it moving right there. That is why the adapter kit needs to be strong. And as you saw from the beginning of the video, it is strong because my little helper over here went and stood on it. All right, let's bring these two reptile enclosures together. Perfect. So over here we have our adapter kit all broken down. So we have a front, a back, the top, of course, with the rib for strength and the bottom, and of course, it's going to come with all the hardware included, as well as easy, comprehensible instructions. So this adapter kit will come in raw wood form, uh, AKA perfect for DIY reptile enclosure kits. So if you wanna finish it yourself, we've got you covered. Also, if you have a custom reptile enclosure, or you just wanna match what you already currently have, I have all of our uh, interior coatings that we offer for our custom reptile enclosures. So here are the picture of all the interior coatings and yes those will all be an option so to start installing the adapter kit we're going to start with the front seam cover and of course all of these are going to be coming with stickers showing what they are and i would also recommend placing them in the center where the two reptile enclosures meet these seam covers are two inches wide so i would recommend marking one inch over from the center where the two meet outward. We marked four or eight different spots inside the reptile enclosure with a pencil. That way you know the edge of the pencil mark will meet, making it perfectly centered. All right, let's start with the front. Front seam cover is now installed. Now we're going to move to the back seam cover. Also, I would recommend it would be easier for you to take off one of the air vent covers. That way you can stick your hand through as you're trying to screw it in from the backside. Now that the back is installed, we will install the most important part, which is the top with the rib. Center it up on the ceiling and secure it in from the top. Now we will be taking our bottom seam cover. So we will be rotating both of these enclosures onto the back. Now that the reptile enclosure has been placed onto its back, we can easily access the screws on the bottom side of the reptile enclosure. So let's go ahead and install our last seam cover. reptile enclosure is back to being really strong so of course very important at this point the adapter kit is fully installed 
So I would highly recommend to put a bead of silicone around all of the edges to make sure it is waterproof. But other than that, it's done. So as of right now, we have one size adapter kit available, and that is, of course, the 24 inch deep and 24 inch tall reptile enclosures that we have. Of course, it's the DIY and our custom reptile enclosures, but we do plan to get our PVC reptile enclosure adapters out as well very quickly. And I would like to make a 30 inch deep and 30 inch tall adapter kit very soon for a new reptile enclosure size, which is going to be four feet wide, 30 inch deep, 30 inch tall. So now I can fulfill the size that people have been requesting, which has been eight feet wide, 30 inch deep and 30 inch tall. But of course you can adapt as many of these as you want. So if you wanted to adapt two or three, you can make it even 12 feet wide, 30 inch deep, 30 inch tall. It's all up to you. So if you're needing an adapter kit, a DIY reptile enclosure kit, a custom reptile enclosure kit, a PVC reptile enclosure kit, we have got you covered on our website, TalkingSerpents.com. We have many different sizes and variations. Don't forget to share this video with someone who you think needs a larger reptile enclosure or is planning on having a larger reptile enclosure and can expand into new sizes in the future. I'm sure there's a lot of people that would really benefit off of this new adapter kit so go ahead and send them the url share the video get the word out there if you like the video strike that like button you have any comments post in the comment section below please do subscribe i'll see you next video